Hello and welcome back to Coach Your Farm Models. So along here, this fence line. I built it long before YouTube and um, I sort of smacked it the other day. So I came in with a long bit of dowel. I think it's a bit broken. Gate post in this post is still okay. But um, yeah. I'd like to have a hedge line along there to break it up from all fence. So we're going to put a hedge in there now. And then here, the gateway is a bit small. It was fine because back before YouTube, the model farm was a lot smaller and it had a lot smaller tractors and not as big old ones. So obviously it didn't need to get as much stuff through the gateway. So we're going to do a bigger gateway. Got a 3D printed gate. We've also got a 3D printed hinge for which will open and close. So to start with we'll put it all up so that post can come. Then all of this stuff I'll reuse someone for something. So now what we've got to do, I want to keep all the gravel in the track. Don't want to mix that in the field. And um, we've got to brush all the gravel in away because we need a clean bit of wood that we can stick stuff down to. And then we can pull all that back. So often, I use a paintbrush to do this because it gets all the bits. So what we'll do, what you'll need for this is a glue gun. And then what I'm going to do to help the hedge is I've got these pieces of wood. I'm going to stick them down to put one about there. And then with that, I'll wait for it to set and then you can use it like a skewer. So we'll wait for that to set. So the first thing is I'm going to figure out where I want the gate post. So the gate's going to go there and this one, I've got a 3D print one still. They got an allow room for the gate hinge. So we're gonna put that wooden post about there. So I just mark that there, that'll be a height. So we'll cut that and stick that there. Now we're gonna start sticking bits of the hedge in. So we need to try and get that to go straight. So this Oasis stuff, you can buy this from Amazon or most places. I'll leave a link to some on Amazon. I don't get my stuff from Amazon, I get this stuff from the range, which is a shop. I do a lot of like arts and crafts stuff and it's in their flower range and stuff so people use it for that. So I want it quite tall because uh, all the others are my hedges are quite small and low, so I want something a bit different. So the only thing with using hot glue is there's going to be a lot of little strands that you're going to need to pick off at the end, which is a bit annoying, but it's not the end of the world. And then we're gonna add some trees in it. So I've got this tree here. You can buy these again off of Amazon or anywhere. So I'm gonna put that in. Because you don't just get a straight hedge, it's gonna have some trees and different plants in it. Stick that one down there. Start building it up. That's looking quite good, so I'll put a time lapse and do the rest of it. So that's that hedge done, and I think it looks really good. 
there's a, the gate will fit perfectly so once the print is done I will put put it in so obviously so I want to make this look more realistic so I see a lot of people on their model farm they just have a hedge or just have a fence but a lot of the time especially if you have sheep out in the field like this field will have um, you have your hedge and you have a fence tied up to it so we're gonna do a fence tied up to this so I'm just gonna use some of these pieces of wood because these are left well these are off an old barn which I broke up for the wood So we're going to start sticking these in. So like this one, which has got a bit of a barcode on that. It, that's where I like bolster because none, it never has barcodes on it. And with this wood you get from like the hobby shops. Sometimes they have barcodes, so just make sure they're facing away. So now we're going to get a bit of wire and start wiring as we go. We'll wire on and we're going to wire as we go. So we're going to cut this piece to length. And then we're going to put it very tight because obviously hedges are always growing so whenever you see a fence against a hedge it's very tight against it. Alright that's that cut. This stuff is dirt cheap, it's £3 for a massive roll of it from brushwood. I used to use a wire, different bigger wire for fencing but this stuff just looks better. So I now buy this. So we're going to cut all these posts to the same height as this one. Carry on sticking them in. Put that one about there. So we'll go off this one for measurement because that there would have been your strainer post. And now we will measure from this one onwards. So we will use the same gap I normally use, which is about, well, we'll measure it in a minute. I've just glued this up against here so that's in tight now so I've, I make these so at the moment I cut the bottom off for this so I glue it against there because that post is already solid but I make them so you can drill a hole and glue them in so these are the 3d printed gates I do and then you can just pop them on like that you hear a click on and they swing open I also do some with latches which bits that stick out and they clip I actually clip into another 3D printed post but I'm not going to have it on this gate because I'm going to get a bit of chain around it. So if you want any of these gates just PM me on Instagram but apart from that as you can see it looks really good. So thanks for watching, any questions you have in the comments and see you again soon.